Let's get to the Wii games. I'll do 3DS last because 3DS is amazing. But um, Wii games, I got my new Wii because I've actually been without, without without a Wii for like at least like a year now. Um, so I got a little bit of catching up to do um, because my old Wii was broke and I didn't have money to fix it or get a new one. But I did get a new one, and with it I got I didn't get the Mario Kart bundle. I got the Wii Wii Sports Wii Sports Resort bundle, um, and uh, I got Wii Sports Resort, and it has its own case. Why? Because I had a friend custom make it. Because I hate those shitty ass little sleeve things. Um, so yeah. And even though I've had these forever. But I did have him make them for my regular Wii Sports and my Lynx Crossbow training. Because I hate. I hate those sleeve covers. They're the most annoying things. To get, uh, the most annoying things ever. They're really inconvenient. They look gross. They they scratch your games first off. Because they're just hard paper. You're sliding your, game, your discs in and out. Um, and they suck. So, I, I got these. But, Wii Sports Resort, amazing game. Um, I don't care what you want to say about the Wii games. Like, you know, we said, okay, Wii Fit, I'll admit, Wii Fit is stupid in my, it's stupid for gamers. Now, if you're like a soccer mom or if you want a, if you want a good fat, if, if you go, want a good family, you know, um, fitness type of game, it's good. But for gamers like me, no, Wii Fit sucks. But stuff like Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, those are good games. I love Wii Sports Resort. This is one of my favorite sports games. It's amazing. But, moving on. I picked up, this is my new Wii too. Sin and Punishment, Star Successor. I've been wanting to get into Sin and Punishment Answer for a while. This is 20 bucks new. Um, and I haven't played too much of it. I played, I think, the first couple stages. And I love it. Uh, I need to get into more rail shooters in the Wii. Because this game has made me want to get into more of them. I also got these two games. First off, Kirby's Epic Yarn. I love this game. I don't care what you want to say about it. I love classic Kirby, but I love this style of Kirby too. I love I love Kirby when it, whatever. When whenever he's his normal self, sucking up enemies, copying abilities, or when he's just doing random stuff like this or Canvas Curse. I love him. I love Kirby. I'm looking forward to the to the Mass Attack game in the DS, and I'm looking forward to uh, Return to Dreamland on um on uh, Wii. But this is amazing. I actually already beat it. I beat it twice. I beat it once on myself and I beat it once with when me and a friend did co op over a weekend. So, really good game. I'm currently trying to complete it. I have 89% completion rate, so I'm still missing some stuff in the game. So, I'm currently going. That's one of the games I've been playing currently. So, really good game. I love it. Like I said, I've been playing catch up, so I just got that game recently. So, but I also picked up Fling Smash with it. Um, Fling Smash. Amazing, amazing game for the Wii. First off, I got this for 30 bucks. It comes with the game and it comes with the Wii Remote Plus, the black one. And for 30 bucks, Wii Remote Pluses by themselves are 40. It's an amazing deal, I gotta say. And you find these at bargain bins all the time. Like, everyone thinks this is like shovelware, but it's not. It's a very underrated gem. It's really fun, really arcadey, really unique for the Wii. And it's crazy multiplayer, so I recommend this for everyone. I haven't played too much of it, honestly. I've only played the first, first I think, world and a half. Um, but I really enjoy what I play so so much of it. Um, I need to get back into it. Lastly, my 3DS stuff. This will probably I might this video might be two part because I'm taking forever. But I did get a 3DS. Honestly, I got the aqua blue one um, because everyone else is getting black, and I think black is overrated. Plus, um, well, not black's not overrated. I mean, I mean it's just I mean I wear all black. But um, for systems and stuff, I kind of like get annoyed with that. How everyone's like, oh, it's got, got to get the black one because the black's automatically cool. It's automatically cool. And I, don't, I, don't, I don't get that. So I always try to get the underdog, um, usually. Plus, I like the blue one. I really like the blue, how, the, how the blue one looks. So two games, Zelda Ocarina of Time, you already know. I unboxed it. I've already beat the main game, and currently I'm getting my ass kicked in the master quest but with my years of zelda skill i'm surviving so um i really love the master quest in this it's a lot better than the gamecube one it, the gamecube one was awesome don't get me wrong um but i love this because the the flip worlds like twilight princess how they how they reversed them in the for the wii version how they uh, mirrored the world um it really adds an, el an element of freshness because, like, when I first got in Kokiri Forest, even though I played Ocar the original Ocarina Time so many times, I was like, whoa, where do I go? Because the mirror world. And, um, d d double damage. I'm sitting here, and it's like, it's like, it's like a keys takes one heart away, and you start off with three hearts. Three keys hit you, you're dead. Iron Knuckle hits you, you lose, like, what? 
eight hearts. It's fucking insane. Um, which makes me excited for the Master Quest or Second Quest, whatever, in Skyward Sword. Which Miyamoto did confirm it's coming for uh, Skyward Sword. There is a Second Quest. So hopefully it's like Master Quest instead of this shitty-ass Second Quest that was in Windmaker where you play the game with Link's pajamas. Whatever. <laughs> And lastly, Dead or Alive Dimensions. Um, this is my first Dead or Alive game, and I love it. I love this game. It's a really good fighter. It's becoming one of my favorite fighting games. But um, it combines the storyline of the first four um, Dead or Alive games, um, as well as just it just combines the games and it adds a ton of new stuff. And it's its own game. It's its own game all on its own. It has online play, which is amazing. Um, most of the time, it's lag free. Um, the only time there's really any lag is if there's a lot of, like, network issues, or if, like, for example, if I'm downloading stuff on my computer, it slows down all the internet and stuff, but that's not the only thing. But it's mostly lag-free, the internet's great, um, and, um, yeah, it's my first one, so I'm not that skilled, like, my online record is, like, I think, like, 20 out of, like, 53 or something. <laughs> yeah, I know, I suck, but hey, I'm getting better, and I'm having fun with it, and that's, that's what counts, right? So... Really fun game. I recommend this to everyone. I got this for Best Buy's uh, sale when they had it at twenty bucks. So if you can find another sale for it, hell, buy it at forty bucks. It's worth forty. Fuck that sale shit. I mean, yeah, you want to get it on a good price, but at the same time, it's worth forty. So fuck that. <laughs> but yeah, those are my uh, recent pickups um, for November through August. Um, like I said, I'll do another one for um, for my September ones. And uh, yeah, peace, guys.